U.S. Spacewalk 81 will be conducted by EV-1 Josh Casada and EV-2 Frank Rubio. EV-1 exits the airlock and gets handed one of the bags in preparation for the EVA. And the second bag, the strut bag, gets handed out and put on EV-1's body restraint tether. EV-2 egresses the airlock and that allows EV-1 to start translation up the CETA spur over to phase one of the ISS truss. Josh translates along and stops at a handrail to hook up EV-2's safety tether and his safety tether and continues his translation path. As he makes his way down the truss, he translates along and gets out to the end of the S6 truss and tethers the strut bag. Meanwhile, Frank Rubio closes the thermal hatch and makes his way up the sea to spur to face one to follow the same translation path that Josh just translated along. He makes his way out to the S4 truss and stows the cable bag and retrieves a pair of cables for the 3A beta gimbal assembly. This is in preparation for the ISS rollout solar array that will be installed in a future EVA. He hooks them up on the mounting bracket, routes one on the right side and tethers it off, and then routes the one on the left side. Frank translates out with that cable bag and temporarily stows it on the S6 truss. Meanwhile, Josh climbs up onto the One Bravo VGA and drives the H fixture bolts. This is in preparation for installing the mod kit assembly. When Josh is finished at the beta gimbal assembly, he leaves and joins Frank on the truss and starts assembling the upper triangle. They take the pieces out of the strut bag and bolt them together into a triangular pattern. Once these pieces are put together, Josh will ingress the articulating portable foot restraint in preparation for attaching the upper triangle to the beta gimbal assembly. Frank hands the triangle up to Josh and Josh installs it with his pistol grip tool. Once this is in place, Josh will egress the foot restraint and help Frank retrieve several of the other struts as part of the assembly. Frank will get into position and hand one end of the lower strut up to Josh and get into position to drive his bolt. Working together, the two crew members will install the lower strut and bolt it in place. Frank will apply the final torque on the bolt and get into position for the mid strut. Again, working together, the two crew members will install the mid strut and drive the bolts to put it in place. Once this is complete, the two crew members retrieve the struts for the right side of the mod kit. They will repeat the process by installing the lower strut first and driving the bolts to torque it into place. The two crew members will follow that up with the right side mid strut, working together to get it into place and driving all the bolts. Meanwhile, Josh will egress the foot restraint and retrieve the ISS rollout solar rays that will get put in place in preparation for deployment of the ISS rollout solar array when that arrives. This is very similar to what Frank did earlier in the EVA, where he'll take one of the two cables and route it over to the right side and tether it in place. And then he'll do the same to deploy the cable on the left side.
Once this is done, the crew members will start collecting their gear and stowing it in the empty bags to bring back to the airlock. Frank collects these bags and puts them on his body restraint tether. He makes his way back to the airlock and stows them inside. Josh retrieves the articulating portable foot restraint, puts it on his body restraint tether, and takes it back to the crew aids and tools translation aid, stows it, and then makes his way back to the airlock to complete the EVA. Frank ingresses the airlock first, followed by Josh. The crew will close the thermal cover and then close the hatch on the inside. 